Today we've got a System Deck 8 turntable uh, made in the in Scotland, probably in the 90s. The System Deck is uh, notably of a suspension or sprung turntable, meaning that the platter and the tone arm are suspended within the plinth itself uh, with a series of springs. Now this helps with uh, vibrations, with any sort of shaking from the floor. It allows you to put it in a less sturdy sort of uh, piece of furniture or equipment rack, a lot more forgiving than a solid turntable, which is what you would get normally at this price range today. Uh, there aren't that many uh, suspension turntables being manufactured at a reasonable price. Um, a comparable would be um, a Rega, one of the RPs or a Project, and they're just a, essentially just a piece of wood for Maca or acrylic with a platter and a toner bolted to it. Uh, which really just picks up all the vibrations in the room, vibrations from your speakers. Uh, this is a much better setup, similar to what um, a Lin LP12, uh, the renowned Lin LP12 turntable that's sprung in the same fashion, or a Thorns uh, 125, 145, the role of this sort of vein and, and design philosophy. Uh, and um, one of my favorites in terms of um, suspension. It's simple in operation. It's a fully manual turntable, meaning you've got to put the torn arm on and off the record. It is um, uses a Lin Basic LV10 or LVX uh, torn arm, which is an entry level torn arm from Lin, but very very good. It's a wonderful turn uh, torn arm, capable of uh, you know feeling at home in, in many levels of turntables. It has uh, anti skate and uh, obviously the tracking for adjustments very simple to operate and to use and to calibrate uh, we've calibrated this one just recently because we installed a brand new Sumiko Moonstone cartridge uh, the Moonstone is uh, among my favorite new cartridges from Sumiko it's in a great price point about three hundred dollars it is um, superior to the previous generations of Sumiko is mostly because it has a removal tip or stylus um, before if, if you damage your cartridge or wore it out you had to throw it out uh, this new version of Sumiko has a removable stylus, so you can A, replace it inexpensively in case you damage it, and B, you can actually upgrade to a higher up Sumiko Oyster Series cartridge just by replacing the tip and keeping the same body in place, thus eliminating the need for recalibration and uh, reduction in cost. So, great, great cartridge from Sumiko. Uh, we've dialed this one perfectly uh, using all the gadgets and tools and adjusters that we've got here at the lab. It's a lengthy process that we put our all turntables through to make sure that they are tweaked as, as well as possible. And being lightweight, we can actually ship this entire turntable almost ready to run. So it would take you about five, 10 minutes from unboxing to playing your favorite record. Um, a couple more features, um, pretty cool tempered glass platter. You can see it's a, it's a see-through platter, heavy and inert and a great, uh, great s substance for platters. You can see the, the plastic uh, mounting. Uh, obviously it's a belt drive turntable, so you'll see the, the motor spindle in the back. Now this turntable will play 33 cent 45s. You will need to just lift the platter off and adjust the position of the belt. It takes about 10 seconds to do. Um, if you're going to be doing it all the time, if you have a lot of 45s and want to switch back and forth, this may not be the best turntable for you because it is a bit more complex than just flipping a switch. Some uh, some other turntables have a push button to go from 33 to 45, but a lot of the high-end ones don't. They're, they're manual like this one. Um, it has a smoked acrylic cover without any cracks. It's in great shape other than your typical surface scratches. It does have a bunch of surface, light surface scratches that they're hard to make out in this video, but they're there if you look at it under the correct light. I'm not a fan of using a cover while I'm playing records, so this one lifts up and out really easily. I'm gonna leave it out for the rest of the video. All the cover does when it's on the turntable is pick up vibrations and, and transfer some to the turntable, so a lot of high-end turntables will not come with a cover, and this one's easily removable, so you won't have any negative effects from it. Uh, let's look at the back. On the back we'll notice the, um, the nameplate here. It's um, 
reflects the fact it's made in Scotland, UK. It's 120, 110, 120 volt uh, turntable, 60 hertz, so ready for the US market. Um, another notable feature is it has a um, really high end um, AudioQuest Leopard um, turntable cable. So it's RCAs, including a DBS module. Let me zoom out so you can see it better. So yeah, someone's upgraded this turntable with a really nice, very expensive uh, RCA cable. Uh, it is removable from the back of the tone arm. Uh, over here, we're gonna also zoom in on the back of the tone arm so you can see what Lin Basic LVX, also made in Japan for Lin. Turning back around. I think that pretty much covers it. The System Deck 8, um, wonderful turntable if you're in the this particular price range. Uh, thank you.